<laughs> We're getting out of here. I don't care about fighting people. Tiny 2.0 is left up there. You know what? I'm the one who's going to Judas him this time. We're outside. Holy crap. This prison is huge. You don't want to play ball. What's up, guys? And welcome back to Paint the Town Red. Now normally when I'm making these videos, you guys know that I like to show you the best workshop levels that I can find. Just some of the most interesting things that I come across. They don't often have anything to do with one another, but for today's episode, I want to follow a bit of a story. And it's all going to begin at a truck stop in the middle of nowhere. Our first level is called Trucker Roadhouse Version 2. And what are you looking at, Humpty Dumpty? I assume you have a body- Oh! I'm in a truck! That's different. I've never seen this before. Can I take this so I can get out? Yeah, uh, maybe. <laughs> How do I get out of my truck, sir? Oh, there we go. You're not Humpty Dumpty. What did you do? Why is there fighting music? All I did was get out of my truck. What's happening right now? <laughs> I'm so confused. The, the music kicked in. People are fighting, but, but nobody's fighting. Everybody's just kind of chilling out, having a smoke. Is it because I, I probably shouldn't bring a bat in with me, right? I just came in here for... Yeah, you see people leave their maces at the doors like you would. Hello, sir. I'm just gonna sit down right here next to you. Yeah, look, everybody's just having a dandy time. Dancing. Uh, smoking basketballs. That's weird. Listen, man, I'm not one to tell you how to do your job, but I think that guy's tripping balls over there. You might want to get him out of here. I restarted the level because the music was freaking me out, and now everything's fine. I got out of my truck. Nobody wants to kill me. Fine is a relative term when you're smoking basketballs, but still, everybody's just kind of hanging out. What is up with this place? <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I was gonna say it's a little bit weird seeing a pimp at a truck stop, but in reality, that'd be a prime place for business, right? I don't see any hoes around. Possibly because there are no women in this game. So I'm just gonna hope that you're not the hoe. Not interested. Oh, look at that, we got a little jukebox. People are dancing, somebody pooping in here. Uh, no, kitchen. All right, I wanna take a quick look around before people try to kill me. What the hell is this guy? Is he, oh no, he does have a face. He just doesn't have much of a face. That's really weird, I've never seen that before. Why are you mugging this light pole, sir? What did it ever do to you? I shouldn't ask these things. Okay, we got a little market over here. People are uh, buying produce. Yeah, nothing like some midnight produce per- Whoa, okay. Not interested. There's a liquor store across the street. Man, this level is really well made. I'm super impressed and kind of terrified as to why there's a toilet tipped over in the parking lot. Is it those guys from the past episode? They just ride in on a toilet and hang out naked, like everywhere. This guy is clearly a rock star. He rode in on the washing machine. <laughs> I'm seeing a lot of continuations from past episodes, which I love. Okay, well, my truck is still hanging out. Humpty is doing all right. I think we're ready to start some trouble. Whoever owns the mace at the door, I'm gonna borrow it really quick. I'll bring it back, I promise. Almost as good as new, just a little bit bloody. People are getting mugged all over the place. Look, this guy's getting mugged. There's somebody getting mugged over there. No more mugging, right? I got your back. No, no. Why are people so ungrateful? I don't get it. I stop you from getting mugged and now your head is just goo. No, the produce stand. Get away from him. What are you doing, you animal? How are the truckers gonna get all of their vegetables? Oh, Are you okay back there? Hey, what are you doing with meat? This is a produce stand, you liar! Oh crap, I have friends in there. I forgot about that, right? The guy that was working the counter. Okay, I need to help him out. He's, he's a big dude. He knows a thing or two. Ow, ow, ow. Okay, kind of getting surrounded. Poop guy, save me! Okay, we're just- Oh! Judas! Poop guy did in fact not save me, and I will hold a grudge. So I'm just gonna, why are you, you had, you brought your drink in with you when you pooped and took off all your clothes? That, that Now your face is in the toilet. You know what, you, you had it coming. Gentlemen, are you enjoying your meal of meat and uncooked meat and cubes? No, cubes are bad. Cube, cubes are bad for the environment. There is not a lot of room to move around in here and also not many weapons. Oh, my friend got out. Okay, he got out. We're outside, yes. Ah, ah, what the hell was that? What just happened? Somebody just shot my friend. He just went down, there was nobody near us. Ah, oh, crap. 
Nobody beats me with their meat. I'm the one that does the meat beating around here. Yeah, that's right. Why does everybody have a problem with me? I stopped a guy from getting mugged and then I tried to help the produce stand and you have a very tough head, sir. Oh, sir, that's rude. No, no, you can't be taking the door off of the liquor store. They need that. How are they gonna keep the drunks out? Give it, give it back. Put it back. Put it, you don't even need it. Your head is invincible. I got Berserk and I know exactly where I'm gonna use it. <laughs> Let's do this. Yes, meaty cubes. Oh crap. Oh crap. No, that's the stuff. I'm like one hit away from dying. So if somebody takes two and they decide not to. Oh, what? The two? Three? Tough old bird? All right. Oh my god. My just. <laughs> I was gonna say my clothes will never be the same, but let's be honest, my psyche will never be the same. Whoa, officers, whoa, no, I'm cool, I'm cool, I'm putting the bat down, I'm not resisting. Well, that's just great. You try to help somebody out, you protect a produce stand, interrupt a poop accidentally, and then all of a sudden you're on a prison bus going to jail. So our next level is called Prison Bus. And yeah, fine, I'm getting yelled at, I'll find a seat. Uh, is this my seat, sir? Or is it your seat? Because that giant sword in your hand makes me think that it might be your seat. Am I your seat? Oh, you're my friend. Okay, now I'm kind of happy that you're a large burly man standing behind me with a sword. So how are we gonna make this work? I only see three guards and a driver. And for some reason you guys have uh, mic stands and guitars and drinks. Is this a jail bus or a party bus? Are we there yet? 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 If you wanted me to shut up, then you could give me a beer or a Hot Pocket, but I swear to God, I'm not going back there to the big guy without one. So I'll just make it myself. It's not that big of a what? Oh, okay, right. You guys probably don't want the prisoners getting up by the drop. <laughs> he just chased his friend. Oh, come on. Okay, don't interrupt the driver. All right, Tiny, I know I'm the new guy, but I've learned my lesson. I can't get you a Hot Pocket yet. Yet, if we break out of here, you can have all the hot pockets you want, all right? But we're gonna have to start a riot. So you shove that up that guy. Don't take it personally. And I'm gonna bonk you on the nose, right? There, bonked. He's bonked. Yeah, there you go. That's what I asked him to do. Oh my God. <laughs> get, get the guard, get the guard. Oh no, swing and a miss. You can do it. Finish him off, finish him tiny. <laughs> Holy crap. <laughs> Why is he so overpowered? That was a 2-4. He's just one-shot people all over the place. I'm not even gonna fight this level. I'm just gonna watch Tiny kill stuff. Nine left. You can do it, Tiny. I'm rooting for you, buddy. Eight. Um, I might want to get a weapon just in case he turns on me. Holy crap. <laughs> How is this fair? Oh, no. Put, put him out of his misery. Put him out of his misery, Tiny. What did I say about playing with your food? There you go. Three left. You can have all the hot pockets you want. Two left. I'm only seeing you. Oh, crap. Oh, no. Tiny. Tiny, no. Tiny, no. I said you could have all the hot pockets you wanted, Tiny. This, Tiny. We were brothers. We, we were out. You could have had all the hot pockets in the world. Why would you do this, you idiot? No, you're kidding me. We killed everybody as soon as we pulled into the jail. You know what? It's probably for the best I killed Tiny. He would have wore me like a sock in here. So now I'm in prison super escape. And we're gonna do just that. We're gonna super escape, aren't we, officer? You are the most white bread officer I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm gonna punch the mustache off that face sooner than later. And you must be my new bunk mate. And I'm guessing you don't have a whole lot longer to live, having a smoke and a final meal before the old lip tickler over there brings you out to the chair. Well, listen up, it doesn't have to happen that way, okay? You could be the new tiny, but I need you to swear allegiance. This is how it's gonna go down. You're gonna grab your meat, and then I'm gonna kick this wall down because it looks like a piece of crap and we're gonna get out of here, all right? But it's grab your meat, not my meat. Not that kind of jail. You best be ready, I swear to God. Okay, we're just gonna kick this down real quick. It's, it's, it's coming there, it's getting there. Maybe I should shuffle my way through. I'm not totally sure why they gave us a guitar. Last song for him as well. There, okay, we're through. He doesn't seem to care. He's not very good at his job. Okay, so now we're over here, and now they seem to care. <laughs> hey, hey, oh, what? You don't like other people in your cell? I see how it is. I need to escape. Yeah, yeah. 
doors are for escaping through, right? Uh, I don't know if I'm supposed to be fighting people or escape. Hey, what? Uh, that's not a very safe stairs. <laughs> We're getting out of here. I don't care about fighting people. Tiny 2.0 is left up there. You know what? I'm the one who's going to Judas him this time. We're outside. Holy crap. This prison is huge. You don't want to play ball. I mean, I want to play ball. We could just... Huh? Oh, come on. Oh, ow. Little, little help. Ow, oh, where did he come from? Yeah, this is awkward. Okay, Tiny, listen. I, I know that I said that I was going to Judas you, and I left you up here alone holding your meat with Ned Flanders over there, but trust me, we're getting out of here together. It's going to happen, so I'm just going to shovel my way through here again, and this time we're, we're fighting. We're, we're going to take everybody down. Actually, you know what? I think you deserve the first hit. There we go. That's the stuff, and then I could take yours. We're in this together. We're, we're not in this together, are we? Nope, not in this together. Why aren't the prisoners my friends? I don't get it. It's everybody against me. Everybody hates me. Is it because I ruined the jail band on the way here? Like, I didn't know they were going to be such a big deal. Get up, warden. Get up. Yeah, stop lying down in that twitching old man. No, you, you can't finish him off. Get out of here. He's mine. Get up, warden. <laughs> I'm taking you with me, and we're walking out of here because I, I don't know where I'm going exactly. Okay, so you just start walking. Yeah, you, you can follow me. Warden, I'm getting the feeling that you're leading me in the wrong direction because this is blocked off. Why would you have... Where'd he go? Oh, that rat. Why would you have doors blocked off? He went and got a guard. I see how it is. Okay, that's cool. This isn't exactly the most secure prison when you're using furniture to block off doors to the cells. You think you can hide from me? I don't think so. These guys have no sweet clue what is happening right now. Uh... Do I really want to intervene? I'm not sure what these are as well. Are these just washing machines on their sides? I think that I was doing a pretty good job escaping. I'm going to see if I can help these guys, okay? You know what? If I I broke you out, be my friend. Be my friend. You see, look, both the guards are now little bits on the floor. I'll even get the other one so you guys feel better. Just just like this. There you go. Now, both... No! Stop swinging at me. We're friends. Friends. No. Friends. Fine. See if I care. We could have been friends, you dickhole. I would have easily called you Tiny 3.0. Now to formulate my escape after killing everybody. So I need to hop on these awkward stairs and then we're gonna go down to the exercise yard. But I don't think that was necessarily escape, right? I'm just in the exercise yard. That, that doesn't really mean a whole lot. Prisoners are out here all the time. Where did I get shocked from last time? I feel like somebody, oh, I see you this time. Trixie guards up on the wall. I'm running around up there. Okay, bring it on. Yeah, come down here. You know what? I'll face you on the court. Watch out. What do you think about that watchtower guard? Yeah, that's what I thought. Three down, and then I think one of them dropped. Hey, a taser. That'll come in handy when I fight the jolly green giant. Holy crap. Hello, sir. Um, I think some of your Conrads fell back there. What is wrong with your hands? That's assault. I haven't actually hit anybody yet. This big guy is doing a good enough job hitting people for me. I don't think he's used to having giant lobster claws. How about we just... Okay, well, he does have a skeleton, so he's not completely lobster. I am one hit away from dying, and I'm not going back. So you know what? It's smite time. I know what you guys are thinking. How is he calling in an ion cannon from space when he's in jail? But you can do a whole lot with a rubber band, a paper clip, a toothbrush. Um... What is wrong with lobster claws? I would just challenge you to a 1v1 on the court, but I'm pretty sure with hands like that, you could palm a microwave. Oh, crap. I took off one of his claws. Oh, he's pissed. He's, there we go. <laughs> You're nothing without your claws, man. Are we good now? Please tell me this is the exit. Please. We gotta be good. And please only, huh? Ooh. Oh, this leads up onto the wall. Cool. Can I get in the tower, I wonder? I can't really see anything in here. Yeah, we can just, we can head along the, oh, oh, I thought I fell off. Wait, shouldn't I jump off? I'm trying to escape jail. Yeah, let's just jump off. I'm out. Is this, it was this the objective? <laughs> Did I creatively escape? Yeah. Okay, uh, I think that I might have screwed up. There might have been more to the level, maybe, pro oh, there was. Oh my god. This is genius. I'm just throw that over there. Are we good? I got my getaway driver waiting for me.
<laughs> they sent like the entire police force to wait for me at the front door and I just climbed down the wall. Oh my god, this is amazing. Yes, Ted, get me out of here. Put me into your little square thingamajig. I can't leave until they're all dead, can I? Why? And of course, I threw my only weapon into the darkness, never to be seen again. Okay, you know what? Guys, can you just... Oh, wait, here we go. That's the stuff. All right. So we're just going to take down the big guy first. You smell nice today. They seem confused. I don't think they fully figured out how I got out yet. Are they just... They're processing it. Just give them a second. I don't want to rush them. Ted, do you have any idea what's going on right now? You guys okay? Oh, there we go. Okay, they just need a little bit of reinforcement. Good job. You guys are doing better now. So, fortunately, they seem to all be armed. So, I should be able to get lots of weapons as they all fall over. And I just need to avoid getting hit once. I don't know if I'm going to be... I don't. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this because this is a lot of people tripping all over each other and beating me to death. A little help, Ted? But I think that's going to be it for this episode of Paint the Town Red, guys. And hopefully you guys enjoyed my little story, even though I didn't manage to escape in the end. You know, after making like 20-something episodes of Paint the Town Red, I really just wanted to try something different. You know, I wanted to bring something a little bit more to a video. So if you did enjoy it, be sure to let me know and maybe I'll do more like this. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time.